Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I want to show you a new way to extract your Wii Message board images. I don't know if this has happened to you, but it's very frustrating. Um, you copy images to the photo channel, yet there's no good way to copy them back to your SD card. It's in a proprietary format called AJPG, I guess a JPEG. Um, that seems to be a really cryptic format that the Wii encodes it in. And the only way until now to extract those files, extract those images to be used on a computer is um, by importing your cdb.vff file or just your NAND backup and to Dolphin and then use a texture dumping feature. Just take a screenshot or whatever, whether that be with a capture card or whatever. But now, you don't have to do that anymore. I have modded this tool called CD Backup. I wanted it to be implemented in the actual app, but the Pikachu Gamer, aka Nime2000, the guy who wrote it, um, like I haven't been able to communicate much with them, so I took it upon myself. It's probably a better idea anyway because I want to make some more changes to it. It's probably a better idea that I made a fork of it. Um, So basically backup, yeah, this gives me a weird error for some reason. Your model to me vary, you probably won't get that. I had to extract my Wii message board data with Wii Explorer. Oh yeah, right. Let me do that real quick, just in case. I'll show you what I'm doing just in case you had and experience this problem. I'm not sure why it does this for me. All my beautiful apps are right there. Um. Yeah, notice that I already have it extracted, but for the sake of showing you how it works, I'm gonna extract again. Okay, NAND, title. I'm pretty proficient at this tool. Wait, what? Oh, no. I don't know why it says error. <laughs> Maybe if I change the file name. Main might already exist. What the heck? Okay, I've never experienced this before, so just give me a second here. Did it just freeze on me? <laughs> what the heck? Let me check if my SD card is locked. Oh, it is locked. Go figure. Let's try this again. I hate that SD cards have a lock on it. It does nothing but cause problems because it's very possible, and I've had this happen before, where the like the lock breaks off, and you might need to like tape it back on or use some cut out some plastic and then put it back on. It's just a pet peeve. Another pet peeve. Well, thankfully, micro SD cards don't have that problem, but those are so tiny you could lose them anywhere. I'm lucky that I haven't really lost all my micro SD cards, but um. Okay, let's try this. Let me try CD backup again. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Backup. Okay, again. Let me just make sure that... I'm so sorry about this. I don't want to do another take in this video, so... Yeah, it's in the right direction. I'm sure people just like to skip to the good part. <sighs> okay, is it gonna work now? It was working earlier, so. Okay. 
say. There we go. Again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this file is kind of large. It's one of the largest files on the Wii NAND, I would say. Also, there's no way it's trimmed down. It's like a pre-allocated size. I deleted the whole thing. Okay. So again, what I was trying to want to do is try to extract the stationary data, like the it's, it's the letterhead used on messages, some messages, and also um, extract the um, sounds that might be in, in, enclosed in it. And, um, and I also wanted to make it so it works in SD cards. Basically, fun fact, if you don't know this, the way that Letterbomb and Willbrand exploit, no, it's not called Weebrand, it's called Willbrand, named after one of the guys who created the bomb. Um, I'll just, I'll just start this now while I talk. Um, those target an exploit on the Wii message board, but in order for that to even be a thing, it's because the Wii message board, um, has a feature to, um, I gotta stop saying, um, to export your messages to the SD card if it gets overfilled with like images and whatever. There's also an op, they actually thought this out, so I'm, kudos to them. But it also, um, any message that you have on the SD card has an SD card icon on it, and um, it's encrypted. That's why you need your, um, oh, that's not actually why. The key that they used for encrypting it is literally just zero. So it doesn't even use a key. It uses something called an initialization vector but I don't know why they didn't actually use a key. It's stupid. Yeah, it uses an encryption mechanism that is widely popular called AES. I think it uses CBC flavor. I call it flavors. There's different types of it. Anyway, this will take a little while because it's extracting not only the text, but the images. And also I was testing this on Dolphin just to warn you, and it did abort. It's an abort called when I was trying to extract images, but I tried it on my Wii and it did not do that problem. So anyway, the feature to um, extract the Wii message board data to an SD card is, um, a feature that I want implemented in a CD backup because it only reads for your Wii NAND because I do have a bunch of old photos and whatever maybe that I might have on all the SD cards. I have some SD cards right there. Back from my old Wii and stuff like that where I might want to extract them and do whatever with them. But anyway, yeah, I want to extract the letterhead, the sound. Also, there's a couple things that I could, I'm missing one thing. Hold on, let me check the code. There's one more attachment type that is supported. Let me see. Oh, PTM, I don't even know. I think, never mind. That was some sort of data that it uses. I think it's, oh, I think it's something for the playtime log. There's a, there's a tool called PlayStatus that's better than using this to extract your play logs. And I'm sure your Wii message board is filled with playtime logs. But back then, it only supported player one and old Wii remotes. So if you had a Wii remote selected for player two, it wouldn't work. But someone, Billy, I think, he used to work on Reconnect 24, long story. I think asked him to update it to support it and he did. But also um, the Nintendo channel uh, also is also a good way to view your stats, but it'll only, it will only show you play stats for like official games and whatever. So like, I'm not sure if newer Super Mario Brothers Wii or CGGB, definitely CGGB Revolution and the Homebrew channel or whatever. I'm not sure the Homebrew channel even uses play time logs. Well, it'll be out in the picture. You know what's weird? I heard by the time, around the time Wii Connect 24 shut down, there was a feature to automatically export your playtime log as a Wii message, but I only found that somewhere and I'm not, and I never found that information again. So I think that might be just a myth because the Nintendo channel doesn't seem to have anything. I could be wrong, 
but it doesn't seem to have any feature to do that. But I also don't know anyone that recollects that feature. Okay, yeah, it takes a while. But it's actually exporting the images in it. It the photo channel won't see them because it encodes in PNG. I write so it's like a lossless conversion, I think. Basically, it has to convert from the AJPEG format to a TPL format, which is the common graphics um, format using the Wii. And then from that, it uses a function by a modded version of this libpng tool to encode it to a PNG. And I had to fix some errors, but I quickly wanted to get this out because I'll be less motivated to not get it out as soon as possible. The link to this is in the description and my goodness. You can just see how long it takes. This is something I've actually wanted to do for a really long while. I've been I first, I think, heard about the AJPEG thing in 2015, and now nine years later, I'm finally releasing a tool to extract it. This tool doesn't even work on the computers. We tried to make it work on the computers and we could not, um... oh yeah, see a decompression error. I had actually printed that, I'm not sure, I didn't know that it was gonna actually print that. Something that got implemented. Playtime wall. It's crazy that like nine, n no, not nine. How long has it we been out? Almost 18 years, 17 and a half years. There's always still interesting stuff to discover because not only with homebrew, but I mean, there's always the, op the option to find betas and prototypes and whatever, and um, find little tidbits of information that Nintendo did not want anyone to see. So it's pretty cool. Okay, is it gonna finish? Hate to keep you waiting, but. Did I really access it at 10.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m.? 10.30 a.m., 10.30 p.m. Oh wait, they're different days, I think. Okay, there we go, it finally completed. Press any button to continue. Now I can exit the tool. There was one picture I wanted to use to um, demonstrate this works out. I'm so glad we finally did this because th there's a lot of people online who are like, how do I extract the images from my Wii message board? It's like trapped in my Wii. And then the photo channel doesn't even read the AJPEG files when you, um, when it exports it to the Wii message board. I think there is code to support it, but it's like ultimately unused. CDB, 20, oh, April. What was that picture? I think it was 19th. This is, this is, when he was a bit younger, this is my mom's dog, Wrigley. W-R-I-G-L-E-E. -E. There's also Tinger with my dad, and there's also Bailey. Bailey loves Wrigley. B-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. Sorry, we must say that spelling, oh, that's Kipoga. Um, There's also Tinger spelled T-I-N-G-E-R because his first kind of Tinger, Ginger, that's her, where he got his name. Then my mom had Dixie, but she died two years ago. D-I-X-I-E. Okay, um, let's see if I can find one more image to show you. Mar November, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is an inside joke. I, I think this is the perfect image to explain it. So basically, my old roommate, um, it was a funny thing that I did. So it was about, I was just explaining this last night, actually, I didn't actually know that I was gonna pick this image. Last night, um, I, um, I told someone a story. Basically, Xenoblade 3 was about to come out and it got leaked online or whatever. And he said, do not give me any spoilers. He said this, well, I don't even play Xenoblade. He said this while he was grabbing goldfish out of the pantry. 
And so I, um, and so I'm like, oh, I know it's spoiler. It has goldfish in it. He's like, that would be fucking stupid. And, um, it was funny because <laughs> I then made a fake press release with ChatGBT. Press releases are what companies usually do to get something out to the news. Like if there's a new promotion or a new thing or someone gets appointed or they license their thing to someone or they acquire or go bankrupt or acquire a company, they make a press release. So I make a fake one for Pikmin 4 plus Goldfish. And I said that the little Pikmin, the blue one and the yellow one and the red one would be individual Goldfish pieces. Like they would, they would be shaped. There would be like the, you know, the Goldfish colors that are different colors. It would be like that, but it's like me. I also just made the eye when pranking someone yesterday. I'm saying too much. It had a z zest to it, like a different flavor. But I just said that the goldfish pieces were shaped like the Pikmin. Anyway, this is this is a great tool to extract Wii message board images. They're kind of large. This one is about 300 kilobytes. But, oh, it is still extracted it, huh? Anyway, um. I hope you'll enjoy getting all your images back. Oh yeah, that was from earlier. I forgot to delete the folder. Anyway, that's all for this video. Bye.